Okay, how's everybody doing this evening? I just checked the price of EOS and uh, it's in the positive now, so it's starting to go up a little bit. Um, and just, just think about this. Think about for people that got scared and sold, it just gave other people the opportunity to buy at a lower price. So if anybody's been scared of all the things going on with EOS, you just gave someone else an opportunity. So I just look at that as opportunity. And I've been around for a long time. In fact, I was in the stock market, the penny stock market, in the 1980s in Denver, Colorado. Um, probably not many people watching this channel will, will know about those days because they've been a long time ago for most people. But the days of Meyer Blinder, Blinder and Robinson, the penny stocks, uh, maybe if you were ever able to watch the movie uh, the, Wolves, the Wolves of Wall Street, that was a little bit about the penny stock market that I, I was involved with. So little fluctuations in the market don't scare me a bit. Uh, I look at them a lot of times as just opportunities. Uh, and like I said, I've seen some of the most volatile markets imaginable uh, in the penny stock market. And in the, in, in the pink sheet stocks, the, the lower end stocks, uh, the, the, the lower cap companies, the companies that were... Uh, uh, companies that were uh, uh, the IPOs, the initial public offerings, that were just starting to be traded. Those are the companies I was familiar with and I saw a lot of fluctuation and so little fluctuations never ever bother me and they don't bother me now. So opportunity is what you need to see when you see price, prices go down, especially when you see activity and you see potential. Uh, so many times with small cap companies or uh, initial public offering companies didn't have a lot of potential or didn't have ideas that had revolutionary ways of changing the way everything's done, like EOS has. I mean, EOS has potential. In my mind, it's unlimited just because of what they're doing and the platform they're being built on. And and the fact that they are are actually uh, coming through as, as they as they said they were going to. Somebody asked me on uh, one of my videos if I was being paid to do these videos. And that's a good question. I didn't, and I, I can't remember if I responded or not. But no, I don't get paid for doing these videos. I don't think anybody could pay me for doing these videos. I wouldn't do it for pay. Uh, first of all, I wouldn't come up, go out every night and talk about something unless I was extremely passionate about it. I just wouldn't do it. I mean, it's uh, to do it every single night and to do it on the same subject, you have to be pretty excited about something. You can't just make that stuff up. Because if, you, if you're just doing it because you just, you're being paid something, then it, you know, you're going to come out every night and you're, you know, there's just going to be some nights you're not going to want to do it. You're just going to say, keep your, keep your money. I'm not going to do it every night. And uh, especially the way I'm doing it, just walking around talking about it. No, I'm not being paid. And like I say, even if I was being paid, I don't think they would be paying me enough because I wouldn't do it if I, unless I had a real interest in it. Not to mention the fact that I'm, I'm somebody that actually does care about people. I hope that that comes through in my videos, that I do care about people and I like people and I want people to prosper and do well. I would never, ever uh, intentionally uh, do, have people do something I think that wasn't going to turn out well for them. I mean, I wouldn't feel good about that. I don't need really the money. I mean, I don't need, I'm not sitting here looking for, you know, a way to, you know, um, you know, stay off the streets, although some people do think I'm homeless. But I, I'm not looking to, I mean, I, I am not looking to make money from YouTube. I'm not looking to make money from having people pay me to say something about EOS, that's not money I'm interested in. I don't need that money. I don't have issues of, as far as money is concerned where I've got to go out and do something that is not in somebody else's best interest. I don't want to do that. And I wouldn't do that. I don't have to do that. I'm not in a position financially that I have to do that. I guess it's a long way of saying that. And I'm just not in a position where i got to go out and do something I don't want to do or do something that I know is not going to be in someone's best interest because I have to do it because I got to have make, make a living. I'm not there and I don't need to do that. So no, long answer to a short question. I'm not being paid for this. Not only am I not being paid for this, I've never even talked to anybody from Block One. I don't even know anybody from Block One. Uh, I've never even conversed with them even on Telegram. So no, this is completely of my own free will to do and say what I say. And this is what I believe in. This is what I want to do. The only interest I have in this is the fact that I've We've looked at this, and when I say we, I've always, I'm talking about the people that I work with, 
because I work with a number of people, my son, we have developers <clears throat> that we work with. Um, and I work with a lot of open source developers. You know, we develop websites. We've been doing that for a number, number of years. I know people uh, have looked at my website where we have a, a business where we develop websites. And I've done everything. I mean, we've developed uh, websites for, uh, I used to work with a lot of attorneys making websites. We still do make a lot of websites for attorneys. I work with a lot of auto salvage yards developing websites. Uh, we have a program actually that helps them inventory their their uh, their uh, their items when they're being brought in. So if they the car gets damaged, and they bring it to a lot and then they tear it apart. They can put the put the items on the internet. Um, just a lot of stuff like that. But I've been, I've worked with a lot of people, so we've all looked at this EOS. Uh, not me alone, but a lot of us have looked at it that I work with. And of course, I work with a lot of open source software, so. Uh, I, I was immediately drawn to open source platforms, of which EOS being a great open source platform. So that's what drew me to this. This is the excitement I have about this. I'm not being paid for it. I really do have an interest in this, and we are building something on this, and we will be releasing something very soon. Uh, the challenge, DAP. Um, and I've been talking about that, and I've been talking about how I believe in the future that uh, human activity will be rewarded by tokens, by the tokenization of human activity. And if you want to uh, uh, think about that in a little different way, or a way that most people in the crypto uh, can think about this, think about it in a way of, uh, of mining. You know, if you mine for Bitcoin or, 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 or Ethereum, you have to have hardware. You have a, a mining rig. You have to have hardware. You have to have cheap electricity and you have to solve um, uh, complicated problems. And that's why you have to have the money, they have to have the, 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 uh, the hardware in order to solve these problems. And if you solve the problem, you get to um, make the block or uh, you, get, you, get, you, you, know, you get to proceed with being able to build the blocks. You get a reward. Think of human activity as mining, as in Bitcoin mining. So when you're mining, rather than have a mining rig, a piece of hardware, some cheap electricity, you literally have your own um, human output. Your hum human output becomes the mining, so to speak. So now you're not being paid for the mining to solve a, you know, solving a problem in order to, to build a block. You're being paid for your activity, which is the same as a miner is being paid in a proof of work a pro pro protocol. So this, this is the protocol now is uh, proof of work, but proof of human activity as proof of work to be paid um, for um, your efforts. So that's what this would be. It'd be a proof of work being human activity as that proof of work in order to, to earn a reward, to, in order to, to earn a um, a token that can be changed into something else. Uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, whatever else you want to trade for through an exchange. That's what we're talking about. And that's what we're planning on doing. And we're planning on doing this in a number of different ways. Uh, first, with a workout challenge, but there will be other challenges that we will develop as we proceed with this. So this is just not one dApp. This is be a series of dApps all being done under the challenge umbrella. So there'll be, there'll be the challenge uh, token that we're launching, and there'll be a series of adapts that will be pretty, done under that challenge token. So that's what it is, that's what we're doing, and that's what I'm excited about. Uh, like I say, nobody could pay me to do these videos because of the level of excitement that I have about it. I wouldn't do this. Um, you know, sometimes you just have to have to have to feel get a, get a feel for what people are saying and know that it's coming from the heart. And that's what I hope that these in these some people say that about the videos. They say, "Yeah, it sounds. I really see that you're getting excited about this, and you really seem sincere, and it really seems like you're coming from the heart," which is exactly what it is. That's the excitement that I have. And like I say, I, I, I I'll be glad when a lot of the issues, the background issues, you know, everything gets moved over to the uh, EOS token. Um, 
all the accounts will be able to be traded freely. Uh, all the uh, exchanges will be trading EOS. No accounts will be unable to be traded. They'll all be unfrozen. When that happens, I'll be really glad because then all this background issues will start to recede into the background. And now we can deal with what, it, what we're really here to deal with, which is a platform to build applications, dApps on that will change the world. You know, I just read something on the uh, on my feed about how Google, I'm sorry about the background, they're doing a street over here. There's always something going on in this area. It's a very, very high, high end area, but it's always busy. There's always something going on. So tonight I just happened to pick a night where they're starting to redo the roads. And behind me they're redoing the roads. But be, I, mean, I want to get the video over with pretty quickly because I rambled on pretty, for a long time last night. But um, they say Google is building a lot of a lot of applications. That applications that are keeping it so you cannot. So in other words, they build this, uh, and I can't remember which one they were talking about. But they build an application of which you interact with that's uh, that's connected to your Google or Gmail. But there's only this. It's too hard for other people to participate. It's like the application, like if you're going to build some sort of a, uh, you're building some uh, project together, and you need to interact with each other through this project. This this application doesn't allow the, the everybody to interact together on the same platform, which is a problem. Google's always had a problem that way. I mean, I've dealt with a lot of people in Google too, um, and just one of the things that come to mind is the Google page versus the Google profile. A good percentage of businesses we've dealt with have their our Google uh, a page is messed up either they haven't uh, actually uh, um, they haven't um, I'm trying to think what the word is uh, they haven't claimed their location or if they have claimed their location they have information on their uh, their Google play page that isn't correct so in the Google Maps you don't show up correctly so uh, you know you didn't claim the page. You didn't claim your location. Now you got a bunch of information on that uh, information on that location that is inaccurate. So when people are looking for your business on the Google Maps or by looking for you, um, you know, trying to find your place on the Google Maps, they find in information that's not correct. Okay. Now somebody like me comes along and they say, well, you, "We need to fix that." So then I go to Mr. Business Owner and I go, uh, "How did you set this up?" I don't know. I got five different Gmails, and I don't know which, which, who set up the Google page and how it got set up. And I don't even know if the person that set it up is still with us or not. Uh, so now what you have to do is you have to go to Google. You have to say, hey, look, the page is screwed up. Can you send a postcard out to the business? And then the business gets a postcard in about a week with these four or five little digits on it, this key. And then they got to call me up, and then I got to reset everything and redo everything. This is the kind of thing Google has the kind of hurdles, and actually when you think about it, it isn't a bad system, but it'd be so much easier if this was on a blockchain. If you had this, all this information on a blockchain that anybody can access without having to go through the, the whole procedures of trying to find out what Gmail it's linked to, who has the Gmail login, who has the Gmail password, if that person is still even around or not. And if that person isn't around, now we have to go through the whole process of having Google send them out a postcard. This is the kind of problems in everyday life that we, we deal with uh, under these centralized systems without uh, having things on the blockchain. Now, if everything was on the blockchain, you could go right to that, that you know, whatever information that you needed and you could access it and you could change it. And you wouldn't have to do all this, you know, back and forth with Google and find out what's going on, who did this and what, what Gmails it's, it's attached to and everything like that. Very, very complicated system that could be remedied very easy with the blockchain. So these are the kind of things blockchain will be solving. These are the kind of things blockchain will be improving. So look forward to the future. Hope the price keeps going up. I'll have more information on the app very soon, exactly when the airdrop will be, and some more details about it. So anyway, I appreciate you watching. Thanks very much.